Burger. Well, we were eating here at a, at a restaurant, and um, we heard the guy was flashing the gun outside the, uh, his, his work. And then um, I guess we saw the ambulance come and the cops come, and uh, after that, he, I guess he barricaded himself in his business. We waited outside for like one hour or so and the cops uh, didn't do nothing, they just left after that. Um, I guess they didn't get statements from the owners or anybody from inside the restaurant or what was going on. Uh, some other customers saw a gun and, and I went outside to be nosy to look and he's the owner of the place, the smoke shop. Yeah, I wasn't scared. I was scared for my for my daughter, my yeah, my, my my wife, <laughs> right next door. Told uh, evac everybody from the from the shopping center that we were in. Like 15, 20 cops outside with their running with their uh, guns out. Then yeah, it was it was serious. Uh, I guess he was talking to them. And I, I heard them. They were arguing a little bit. And then and then when I came outside, well, after they they, they told everybody to to uh, evac. Um, the gentleman that was there with him was told us that it was his interview. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> and the, and then he, the, he's the one who told him to call the ambulance. So he called the ambulance. After the ambulance came, then that's when the guy, started, uh, the owner, started wigging out and telling him he was going to kill his family and and uh, uh, I guess time other other bad things. So nobody got arrested. They said that they can't do anything to him because it's it's okay for him for him to have a gun inside his property. But um, if they would have interviewed other people that were here uh, besides two people, then they would have uh, had a, a real reason to to take him out of his, his place.